வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் ஈஸி லேர்ன் ஃபன்னி லேர்ன் ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் த சேனல் அண்ட் ப்ரெஸ் த பெல் ஐக்கான் டு ரிசீவ் நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் In this video, we are going to see Chapter 4, Changes Around Us from National Science Olympiad NSO, MTG Workbook of Class 6. First one, which of the following features are related to evaporation of water? First one, occurs at 100 degrees Celsius only, 2. Bubbles are formed, 3. Slow process, 4. Increases with increase in surface area. Actually, the following features related to evaporation of water are it is a slow process and also it increases with increase in surface area. So, option D is the correct answer. Option D. Second one. Sudha took lemon juice in two flasks. She put a salt in flask 1 and washing soda in flask 2. She observed lot of bubbles in flask 2 but nothing in flask 1. What could be the reason for this? A. In flask 1 a chemical change take place. B. In flask 2 a chemical change take place and bubbles of carbon dioxide are seen. C. In flask 2 a physical change take place producing lot of bubbles. D. In flask 1, salt react with lemon juice and forms a new compound. So, lemon juice is an acid. It react with washing soda that is base and liberates carbon dioxide gas that is a new substance is formed. Thus, it is a chemical change. Whereas, addition of salt in a lemon juice is a physical change. As only salt get dissolved in lemon juice, no chemical reaction takes place. So, option B. In flask 2, a chemical change takes place and bubbles of carbon dioxide are seen. So, option B is the correct answer. Option B. Third one. Study the given Venn diagram carefully. So, X is a reverse, irreversible change. chemical change and also a fast change so the center point x represents a rusting b dissolving salt in water c boiling of an egg d bursting of a cracker so bursting of cracker is a chemical irreversible and a fast change so option d is the correct answer option d fourth one a metallic piece x is dropped into copper sulfate solution after some time the blue color of the solution changes to green so metal x and the change which has occurred are respectively a aluminum and physical reversible change b magnesium and physical irreversible change c iron chemical reversible change D. Iron. Chemical irreversible change. So, metal X is iron which reacts with blue colored solution of copper sulfate and forms a new substance. That is green, green colored solution of iron sulfate. It is irreversible and chemical change. So, option D. Iron and chemical change. It is irreversible change. Option D is the correct answer. Option D. Fifth one. Read the given passage and fill in the blanks by selecting an appropriate option. Iron nails when new are grey and bright. When exposed to dash, they get covered with a dash coating. This process is called dash and it is a dash change. So, we know that. Iron nails when new or grey and bright when exposed to air and water. When exposed to air and water, they get covered with reddish brown coating. This process is called rusting. It is a chemical irreversible change. So, option B is the correct answer. Option B. Sixth. 
mark the incorrect statement okay incorrect statement a melting of wax is a physical change while burning of wax is a candle is a chemical change it is the correct statement b metals expand on heating while contract on cooling both are physical changes correct statement c composition of matter changes during a chemical change while it remains same during a physical change correct statement d high and low tides in sea are the example of non periodic changes while growth of a tree is a periodic change it is incorrect because changes which occur again and again after fixed interval of time are known as periodic changes for example occurrence of full moon beating of heart change of day and night oscillation of pendulum of clock high and low tide in sea etc changes which do not repeat themselves at regular intervals are called non periodic changes you cannot predict when they will reoccur for example occurrence of earthquake accident rusting of iron growing of tree etc so option d is incorrect option d is incorrect so the correct option is option d 7 few changes are given below mark the correct option from the given code 1 milk is said to form curd okay milk is said to form curd it is a chemical change 2 batter is steamed to form idlis it also chemical change because new components are formed 3 water is boiled to form steam it is a in uh, sorry physical change 4 salt is dissolved in water to form solution it also physical change so 1 and 2 are chemical change because new components are formed and the reactions are irreversible 3 and 4 are physical change because the reaction are reversible new components are not formed so option c is the correct answer option c 1 chemical 2 chemical 3 physical 4 also physical change Eighth one. Need to mix some iron fillings with sulfur powder in a china dish. She heated the contents of china dish. What did she observe during the experiment? A. There was no difference in the content of china dish before and after heating. B. Before heating, iron fillings and sulfur powder could be seen separately. but after heating the contents became black c before heating the iron fillings and sulfur powder could not be seen separately d before heating the contents were black and after heating iron fillings and sulfur could be seen separately so on heating iron react with sulfur to form black solid of iron sulfide this is an irreversible chemical change so option b before heating iron fillings and sulfur powder could be seen separately but after heating the contents become black solid of iron sulfide it is an irreversible and chemical change option b is the correct answer option b 9 What is common among the following phenomena? One, change of season. Two, blooming of flowers. Three, growth of nails and hair. Four, growth of a plant from seed. So, A, all are physical changes. B, all are slow changes. C, all are undesirable changes. D, all are reversible changes. so 1 2 3 and 4 all these changes are slow changes okay all these changes are slow changes so option b is the correct answer option b 10th one observe the two figures given below in figure 
solution of sugar in water is heated and in figure 2 only sugar is being heated what changes are take place in both the figure 1 and 2 so a in figure 1 physical change is taking place while in figure 2 a chemical change is taking place b in figure 1 a chemical change is taking place while in figure 2 a physical change is taking place c in both the figure physical change are taking place d in both the figure chemical changes are taking place now please observe the given figure in figure 1 water evaporates from the sugar solution and sugar crystals are left behind so it is a physical change in figure 2 when sugar is heated it turns black due to the formation of new substance and it cannot be reversed therefore it is a chemical change so option a in figure 1 physical change is taking place while in figure 2 a chemical change is taking place so a is the correct answer option a 11th identify the reversible and irreversible changes among the following 1 heating of the coil of an electric heater so it is a reversible change 2 magnetization of needle it is also reversible change 3. Soil erosion. Soil erosion is irreversible change. Expansion of a metallic rim. It is a reversible change. Dissolving baking soda in water. It is irreversible change. So 1, 2 and 4 are reversible change. 3 and 5 are irreversible change. So, option C is the correct answer. Option C. Study the given flowchart carefully. Changes P and Q. So, P. Ripening of fruits. Setting of milk into curd. Q. Spoilage of food item. Corrosion of metals. Which of the following is correct? Okay. Option A. Periodic change. Non-periodic change. B. Irreversible change. Reversible change. C. Fast change. Slow change. D. Desirable change undesirable change so ripening of fruits and setting of milk into curd are desirable changes while spoilage of food and corrosion of metal are undesirable changes so option d p is desirable change q is undesirable change option d is the correct answer option d 13th one a potter shapes pot out of clay. Process 1. He then bakes the pot in an oven. Option 2. Which of the following statement is correct? Okay. A. Process 1 is a reversible physical change. While process 2 is an irreversible physical change. B. Process 1 is an irreversible physical change. While process 2 is an irreversible chemical change. C. Process 1 is an reversible physical change while process 2 is an irreversible chemical change. D. None of these. So, the potter shapes pots out of clay. It is a reversible physical change. Okay. He then bakes the pots in an oven. That is process 2. While process 2 is an irreversible chemical change. So, process 1, reversible physical change. Process 2, irreversible chemical change. So, option C is the correct answer. Option C. Okay. F 14. Match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option from the code. Digestion of food in our body, earthquake, bursting of balloon, changes of season. Column 2, fast change, natural desirable change, natural undesirable change, then slow change, okay. So, here, digestion of food in our body is a slow change. Digestion of food in our body is a slow change, P4, 
earthquake is a natural undesirable change so q3 bursting of balloon fast change so r1 change of season natural desirable change okay so p4 q3 r1 yes to option d is the correct answer option d 15th consider the following phenomena one forest fire two growth of plant three low and high tide four occurrence of a rainbow five earthquake six opening of a morning glory flower which of the phenomena can be classified as periodic changes okay so periodic changes are the change which keep on repeating themselves after a regular period of time so low and high tides opening of a morning glory flower are the example of periodic changes okay so 3 and 6 only 3 and 6 only that is option d is the correct answer option d next achiever section 16th observe the given figure carefully and select the correct statement so please pause the video and observe the given figure carefully so water changes into water vapor is process 1 okay process 1 so water vapor changes to water is process 4 water vapor changes into ice cube that is 5 ice cube changes into water process 2 water changes into ice process 3 so a processes 3 and 4 involve absorption of heat energy b process 5 involves condensation and freezing c processes 1 and 3 involve heat energy d process 5 absorb lot of heat energy so here processes 1 and 2 involve absorption of heat while processes 3 4 and 5 involve evolution of heat so option b process 5 involves condensation and freezing option b is the correct answer 17 Swathi classified a few changes occurring around us as shown in the table. So shortening of pencil as physical reversible, evaporation of water as physical irreversible, photosynthesis chemical irreversible, rusting of iron chemical reversible. Which of these changes are classified correctly? Okay, which of the changes are classified correctly? actually sharpening of pencil is a physical change it is irreversible okay physical irreversible change so one is classified incorrectly evaporation of water is physical reversible change physical reversible photosynthesis chemical irreversible so three is classified correctly only 3 is classified correctly rusting of iron also chemical but irreversible change so 1 2 and 4 are classified incorrectly only 3 is classified correctly so option d is the correct answer option d 18th read the given statement and mark the correct option statement 1 While fixing a metal rim on a wooden wheel of a cart, the size of the metal rim is kept slightly smaller than that of the wooden wheel. True statement. Statement two. Metals expand on heating and contract on cooling. Correct. Okay. Both the statement are correct. So option A. Both statement one and two are true. and statement 2 is the correct explanation of statement 1 b both statement 1 and 2 are true but statement 2 is not the correct explanation of statement 1 c statement 1 is true and statement 2 is false d both statement 1 and 2 are false actually both statement are true and statement 2 is the correct explanation of statement 1 so option a is the correct answer option a okay 19th study the given venn diagram 
and identify points 1, 2 and 3. So, 2 is a chemical change. 2 is a chemical change. 1 is a physical irreversible change. Okay. 1 is a physical irreversible change. 3 is a chemi physical chemical irreversible change. So, in the given option, breaking of glass is a physical and irreversible change. Okay. Breaking of glass is a physical irreversible change. Melting of ice is a physical reversible change. Burning of paper is a chemical change. So, option C. Next, two. Second option is chemical change. Yeah, baking a cake is a chemical change. Then, three. Burning of LPG in kitchen. Burning of LPG in kitchen is physical irreversible and also chemical change so option c is the correct answer option c next last question study the given venn diagram if one represent slacking of lime and two represent the decomposition of calcium carbonate then p q and r could be respectively a. Reversible change, irreversible change, physical change. B. Periodic change, non-periodic change and physical change. C. Exothermic change, endothermic change and chemical change. D. Endothermic change, exothermic change and chemical change. Decomposition of calcium carbonate is an endothermic change. Okay. Decomposition of calcium carbonate is endothermic change. Chemical change as calcium carbonate breaks into calcium oxide and calcium dioxide by absorption of heat. Okay. Decomposition of calcium carbonate is endothermic and chemical change. Because calcium carbonate is break into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide by absorption of heat. While slacking of lime releases lot of heat, hence it is exothermic chemical change. Therefore, P should be exothermic and Q should be endothermic and R should be chemical change. Okay, R should be chemical change. So, option D, endothermic change, exothermic change and chemical change. Option D is the correct answer. Option D. Thank you my dear kids for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please pause the video and read the question and the options one or two times. Then surely you will find the answer. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.